guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today we're starting over at the studio. We've come over here to get some stuff done and I need to get cracking on making some tutu socks. I feel real strange because I've just been vlogging for yesterday and then vlogging now for today. It just doesn't seem right and I really hate doing it. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you quickly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can explain and show you better. Okay, so like I said, we're over at the studio and I've come over here to start doing some tutu socks. So this is the ribbon that I'm applying to some tulu. And then obviously you can see I've gone a little bit over. That's just to make sure that I get to the end. I'm gonna cut all this, trim it all up, take this excess off the back of this so you don't see it once it's done. You'll just have it looking like a tutu sock. Well, like the ribbon for a tutu sock. And then we're gonna put a stitch across here and then that will have the ribbon in it, elastic, put the, put the elastic in it. But yeah, so this is, I've done each one. I can't even remember, I think, I can't remember what's that length for other than this in, but I've split it in half to do two socks because ribbon is so expensive now. Like I didn't even realize. So I really need to look for a supplier that does ribbon or if anybody knows of a cheap supplier that you can um, advise me to use or go to or know someone then please feel free to leave a comment and let me know because when you go on eBay see it's all done by the yard most tutu socks need I think it's 12 yards or 6 yards I think it's 12 yards it's meant to be 6 Oh yeah, it might be six yards, so it's 12 yards for both socks. Depending on how fluffy or frilly you want them, um, you, can, you can do more if you wanted to, and depending on the size of the sock. So I think this will be big enough. I think I've got like three yards here for each sock. In fact, you know what, I'm just going to double check what I ordered and then I can be sure. So I ordered five meters, but yards, in yards, it's around just under a meter when you're working with yards. So there's two, gonna be two, like two and a half meters on each sock, but that is probably all you'll need. And I suppose like, because I'm only learning to do this, I suppose as you go on, you'll get used to doing more or wanting frillier and stuff like that for, you know, like going from babe socks up to, bigger socks or we can make them where they are removable so you just have the sock and then these will just be on elastic and then you can have different ones and just remove them so you can just use the same pair of socks basically or put them on any other pair of socks that you want to put them with so if you wanted to wear pink socks you could wear it with a pair of pink socks or a pair of purple socks or a pair of yellow socks just you get what I mean and they're just removable so you just pull it over the foot and you just like have it around the ankle i do apologize that i have to keep stopping the camera but i cannot stop yawning today i don't know why because i felt like i, I had a lot of sleep but when i woke up this morning it just felt like i had none so anyway i just wanted to show you this so you could see what it looks like this is my first attempt and i'm impressed with it for a first one what do you think of that stitch for a first attempt let me see if you can get it to zoom in not gonna do with it. There you go. Look at that for a first stitch. The first time ever doing it. Oh god, it doesn't want to doesn't want to work, does it? It's trying to grab it, but, but yeah, I think it's really good considering it's my first time. So anyway, I'm gonna do the stitch now on swear. I'm just if into your mind whether to change it now and use a white because obviously when I stitch it on I don't want it to be pink so we're just gonna refread all of the sewing machine again with white which I did just have white in it but I took it out because I didn't think it was gonna look right obviously with the ribbon I mean most ribbons you can just use white depending on like what colour it is or what theme you're going for so but yeah you can get all kind of colours for ribbon you could probably have used any any colour of 
cotton to go with this just because it is multicolored so you're not really set to one specific color and it'd be a nightmare imagine trying to change your ribbon every time you got to a color i mean some people will do it and you once you get used to changing it you probably would um but if you can buy, find something as near to or maybe you might be able to buy if not, not lot if you can actually buy like a multicolored ribbon so it'd go with it even more but you can always look anyway i'm gonna do this get this finished and then check back in and show you hopefully it'll turn out okay wish me luck oh i just want to say this is my dinner for today i am having pineapple fingers as you know i am on a diet and i am taking it seriously now i've not eaten any rubbish whatsoever in fact i'm lying just last night i had some cheese and onion like i can't remember what they're called they're like crackers but crisp than the mccoy's ones and i just had them last night because i didn't i didn't have a big tea so and i hadn't ate anything else during the day so i kind of used that as a little treat for the day i didn't eat more there was still half the bag in the car this morning so i thought i'd have that for my dinner today what do you have for my breakfast an egg omelette for my breakfast with cheese in it and also when i woke up because i have to take tablets i had a corny yogurt with aurora because she loves some corny yogurts she's gone off like other yogurts and that seems to be the only one we can get in fact it's got to be banana yogurt she loves it absolutely loves banana yogurt so i'm gonna dave's mom bought us a yogurt maker um a couple of years ago and we still got it so i thought that i'm gonna see you can buy the banana yogurt and start making it for her and then i can just freeze it i thought that'd be a really good idea I'm getting into this like i don't know i've just gone i'm just going through a phase where i just i'm loving cooking at the minute so dave's been having a rest and I've been doing the cooking. Well, he did it last night for the kids because what was he doing last night? Oh, we were going we were going out and I was bathing the kids and stuff like that. So we did tea and then went to studio and then we went to Susan Frank's, which was really nice. It was just nice just to chill out and just to have like a bit of a break from the house. So anyway, let's get down to doing this. Get this off here. Pull that out, wrap it back up and then we can show you what it looks like once we've got the in fact i don't even think i've got enough ribbon unless oh sugar I did have some ribbon somewhere but i can't remember where i put it i did buy some i'll have to have a look in a minute um but yeah anyway i'm gonna sort this out and then come back to you and then you can see what it looks like too. After just saying I couldn't find the ribbon, oh, crap. And so this is 2.6 meters and it's 12 millimeters of ribbon. So <clears throat> I'm just going to make that big enough for that to thread into this part and then yeah, stitch it. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to show you quickly. I've done it on like a ruffle stitch um, just because it'll help with the effect of what it's going to look like but you can just stretch this out as and how you want to and then yeah we're just gonna get our cotton our elastic put into this and then it's literally gonna look like it's all scrunched up like a sock obviously better than that but I'll show you properly once the cotton is in but basically you're going to take your sock <coughs> you're going to turn it inside out and then you're going to stitch it on and then you're going to fold it well in fact you wouldn't even have to turn it inside out because when you turn the sock upside down your frill will be attached to this part of the sock and I'm just so excited to see what it looks like and yeah it's turned out well I'm so impressed the first time and yes it's a thumbs up so hopefully i've done this one for this channel because i think i'm going to do a bit of a video for the simple sarah channel probably just like not showing my face but just videoing what i'm doing and stuff like that um but yeah I'll, I'll just video bits and then when i decide to put a video up i will do 
But anyway, I'm going to get cracking with this and then once we are done, I will show you the end result of one of the socks. <laughs> How good does this look? Seriously, can you tell me anyone else that you know can, can make one of them? Well, there'll be plenty of people on here that watch that can make one of these, but, you know, I'm just curious to see whether somebody else might learn to make them, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I just want to show you how cute does this look, and this is going to go onto the top of a sock like this. So if you want to purchase your socks, then you can go to Tutu Tulu and buy one. Well, you can buy a pair, not just one. But yeah, we can make these in any design, any colour that you want, to match any theme. Um, I mean, if you want bigger frills, they are going to be more expensive. And if you want the coloured, then it is going to be more expensive, just because it is expensive to buy the ribbon. But... There'll be no more than like £16, £16.99, around that. And trying to get them down cheaper if I can resource the material at a cheaper price but still at the same quality. So I just need to cut the excess off there now and then get stitching this onto it and then we will have a sock. And then we can do the next one. So I'm just going to send a picture to this today because I know he'll reply. And if he does, I'll show you with, do you think you're clever? Oh, that's sick. Close to, he said, that's mint. I don't know if you can see it, but... I just know. I'm just fantastic at this. It's just amazing. Do you know what? It's so enjoyable as well. I would highly recommend. If you haven't got a sewing machine and you've been thinking about getting one, definitely get one. Because this is probably the easiest thing to make even though you look at it and think oh it's so complicated can't be doing with that can't be doing with all that fiddly stuff it is fiddler and i'm not gonna lie the first like couple of minutes i felt like putting it down and then i just thought do you know what i'm not giving up i'm gonna do it because i know i can and then i just thought it was really easy after that so i'm just cutting all this excess stuff off so there is no hangover as you can see like on this side but you can see it on this side so i'm just taking i'm just removing all that now so it's done but yes i can't wait to get this on here it's gonna look so good it's gonna look amazing can't wait anyway i need to stop saying that now don't i, I seem to go through like different words of repeating stuff i think it's nerves that Anyway, I'm going to go and finish this and then show you. Okay, so I decided that I'm just going to make these as um, like slip-ons. So they go on the sock like this. Just because you can't wash the sock otherwise because you can't put this in the washer unless you do it on like a really cold wash and then you're not always guaranteed to get all the marks out of the socks if you wanted to make them white so it's easier to do it like this where you put that underneath and then you pull this over and at least then you can wash the sock and these are not going to get ruined and they can be used again and again and again oh excuse me oh you could take them off and then you'll be able to hand wipe them and clean them ready for your next use. I just think it'd be better like that. I was just about to sew it onto the sock, but I, because I've not learnt to sew onto a sock yet, I'd rather kind of get some material and, work, and learn with them our old socks and just use some old material rather than just go straight into it because I wouldn't want to start stitching these to a pair of socks and then it's ruined i've got to start all over again and it'll take a long time to unpick all that out of there so it's just not worth it but yes 
so I mean even when you buy you still buy it with the sock so it's still like a tutu sock or you can buy these separately and even on what some websites I've seen these go for like 12 13 pounds just these on their own depending on how thick the material obviously the thicker the material the higher they are just because it's more expensive for like wider material anyway oh. I've literally yawned about 3,000 times in the last two hours. I, don't, I just don't know what it's up with me. And I've took my tablets, so maybe I'm just having one of them days. But anyway, I hope you like it. Don't forget to go and follow me on the 22 Toulouse 2021 on Instagram and 22 Toulouse on Facebook. I am also going to be setting up a Twitter account. I've not, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it but we'll be setting up a Twitter account. So these will usually retail, like I said, around, I've not actually decided yet. I have seen them on many sites for like 12 to 16 pounds, depending on how thick. But I think the first couple of pairs I do, I'm gonna do them at a discounted price, just because I, I am learning. So they could easily be, even though I don't feel like I've made any mistakes, I feel like everything's perfect on it. I've seen it properly so but you see that in? I do apologize <laughs> seriously um but yeah I'm still learning so it's still good to it'd be ideal these like dolls wouldn't they as well so if you wanted like a little doll skirt or matching set we could do a little tutu like this and then maybe get like a vest but get the early baby vest so it's really tiny and it fits it all yeah anyway there's many many things you can do with these um because i've i've learned now that the way this ravels seriously i make myself go to sleep talking um I've learnt now the way these ravel that these could possibly be put on the sleeves of tops or around the sleeves of arms on the baby vest and on the maybe the legs so you, it looks like a frilly little dress like a little clown suit but um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with many things doing many things on many things um and see how it all turns out so Anyway, Dave's nearly back now. See the kids. We'll check in with them. Probably just going to be a pretty much a quiet day today. Oh, I'm going. I'm so tired. I do not know what is up with me. It's doing me head in. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be and leave you. And when the kids come back, check in with them. I was going to say, it's, it's probably going to be pretty much a quiet day today. I've got some cleaning to do before we head on out tomorrow and i've got to go and pick um we're borrowing carl's car to go tomorrow so we've got to go and pick that up later on anyway can you hear the kids knocking they're here let's go and get them